Hi folks, these are, I think, all of my Barlow knives, which would mean that I would appear to have 13 at the moment. I think that's right, but um, I may have missed one somewhere, but I can't remember. I've just been around and uh, hoovered them up from the different places I keep them. Uh, actually, one place I didn't look, so there might be another one somewhere, I don't know. Anyway, it's most of them. Um, and I wanted to just talk about a new one that I've got. Now, I just did a video the other day on this new one, which is a case out of the last year's vault. So if you haven't seen that already, it will be coming out shortly. I haven't quite worked out the sequence. I might squeeze this one out before I do the, the uh, series of case ones. But anyway, there's that. That was last year's vault. That, well, they're both at last year's vault, but this one I bought last year. There's another American-made one, American-made buck. Um, I'm not sure I've done a video on that, but if I haven't, I might do it one day. Get around to it. This is the electrician's knife that Tobias gave me. I've got a granddaddy Barlow here that I bought from Slip John Guy in America. Um, bought two of these, gave one to Paddy. That's the other one. Um, now... I'm going to come back to that one in a minute. So I'll put, just put that one aside. Put it up there. That's a Rough Rider uh, Twin Blade Barlow that I got from uh, Tobias. He sent that to me. This is uh, quite a smart little Boca Barlow with desert ironwood and gold on the blade. Very nice. These five... Oh, my Sheffield Barlows. I've got more Sheffield knives than this, but these are all the Barlows. This one is by Michael May. And Michael May tells me that he uh, trained a guy called Lee White. And Lee White made these four and a couple of other knives that I've got, which we'll be doing soon. You can sort of almost tell because it's this trademark. It's not a trademark, but it's common of the Sheffield knife makers. Backspring work is on a lot of these. Of the knives. Anyway, that's that's the Michael May one. Now these four all came from the hands of Lee White, who's recently started subscribing to this channel, and to Warthog, who's also just picked up three of these Barlows. Now the reason I kept this one out, this is just the marbles. Marbles are made. There's another Smoky Mountain Knife Works. Uh, brand along with Rough Rider ones. But this one is in apparently genuine uh, ram's horn. Now, I quite like ram's horn, but I don't think I buy ram's horn for the bark. And you can't really see the reason why I do like ram's horn. So I'm actually, I'm toying with the idea of getting another one of these and trying to sand it down to see what the material is like underneath because they're these are not expensive i think this this was about 15 or 16 pounds my daughter gave me this one so i don't want to mess mess around with this one it was a gift but i'm thinking about buying another one why because of my four uh lee white barlows i've had this one for a while this was the very first one i got and this is ram's horn now ram's horn is to me a beautiful, lustrous material. It's translucent. So um, as Warthog has cottoned on to, I like this lustral, lustrous translucence. And if you put a relatively strong light on it, let's see if I can do this. It means two hands, which is a bit of a problem. You actually get to see all the colors the reds and the browns and oops, the reds and the browns and the golden streaks within the within the material. Keep that light handy, I might be needing that again in a second. So I bought that one um, oh, a couple of years ago and not long after I bought this one, which is a beautiful mother of pearl. Love Mother Pearl. 
And then last year, I saw this one, which is Oxhorn. And I bought that, and that's also beautiful. And also, again, has some lovely, I mean, for Oxhorn, Oxhorn is normally black or dark, and you end up having to, you know, you have to look quite hard to see the pattern in Oxhorn sometimes. I mean, it's there, it's worth, and it's worth having to look for. But this one, I mean, well, it's just there. It's screaming out at you. I saw this one and I had to buy it. Now, something else you may notice. See the stamping of that Ricasso? It's readable, legible. This one last year. Wait, to Sheffield, England. I don't know if I can compare these on here. They retooled their Barlow knives last year, and you can really see the difference. So, why am I showing you all of this? Well, this one came up the other day. Um, again, it is this beautiful, beautiful ram's horn. And this one is, if anything, even more lustrous, even more translucent, with even more colours and striations in it. if I can make this one glow better but you could just I don't know if you can see all that in the material best way to do it is to buy one of these have a look at it if you can get one and honestly that's the difficult bit anyway so this one came up the other day and um, I couldn't resist it really I didn't intend to buy another Barlow but I did now in terms of, is this is absolutely Lee's best work? No, I don't think so. Uh, is it the best bit of um, ram's horn I've seen in a long time? Yes, without a doubt. Beautiful ram's horn. This side particular, the show side, just really, really beautiful. The work on the um, bolster is certainly uh, lovely and crisp and new. The blade action is much, much improved. You know, with these early ones, I, I'll try and try and do this on camera, but I may not be able to. It's, um, they're really, really stiff. This one, still stiff, don't get me wrong, but I can open that straight away. And incidentally, I can, this one that was last year's. Ah, well, I can. There's no point mucking around. I can do that one eventually. These early ones are much, much stiffer. This, they're getting, they're getting slightly better. I mean, it's still definitely what you'd call a man's pull. There's no, there's no getting away from it. But, um, first of all, if you look on this bolster, you can see the pin just there, which... You can't on the earlier ones. On the one last year, you can see it as well. Just. But. These ones are all completely. Gap free. Beautifully done. This one, it doesn't have the file work at the back. Well, I know that. I mean, it's it's an option. You can either choose it or not. I saw this one. I love the ram, the ram's horn and had to have it. I would rather have had it with the back spring done, but it's not done. It's just plain. But it is a little bit gappy, which is a bit disappointing. And I, I was on the tip of saying I was going to send it back just because of that. But... Um, I just decided that no, I love that ram's horn too much. It's just such a lovely piece of material. The fit to the bolster isn't perfect there either. It's very good. I mean, what are we comparing this to? If you're comparing these to GC knives, no, the fit and finish of this particular one is not the best. You know, there's just no, no way of getting around that. You, you can't argue anything else, but it's still a beautiful, beautiful knife. I mean, true, truly a work of art. Um, you know, I'm never going to be shy of showing this off. 
I know certain knife people are going to look at that backspring and say, no, that's, that's, um, that's terrible. And it's not the best. But this is a handmade piece of work. This is actually one artisan's work. He's taken the pieces of material and stamped them all out. And then not just assembled them, but, but crafted them together, melded them into an item of outstanding beauty. That it's not 100% perfect. Yes, I mean, I criticise it. And I, I'll criticise it because I know that Lee can do it. There's no, you know, that that's the only reason I'm criticising it at all. Because if, if I hadn't got these beauties, there's no way I would have um, said there was anything remotely um, wrong with that one. But because I know what you can do. And I hope if you watch this, Lee, you won't take this as criticism. You won't uh, you won't hate me for saying it. But it's just that this is not, this isn't the best knife you've ever made, but it may be the most beautiful because that bit of ram's horn is just the most stunning, stunning material. So I like that very much. I'm very happy with it. Um, uh, you know, I might criticize it a little but in the end you know these are some of the most beautiful things I've ever owned absolutely stunning works of art love them to bits thank you Lee for making them thank you everybody else for watching this um I want to give a shout out particularly to David um, from the Bakewell cook shop who took the time to photograph and film some of these knives for me before he sent them up so that I could choose uh, you know I chose this knife not a Ramson Barlow I chose this knife specifically I chose this knife specifically and so on these are individual photographs of the actual knife that um, David took the time to take for me and to email to me uh, so that I could look at them, choose with, um, you know, full information. Uh, because being handmade knives, you know, one next to the other, one may be much, much more lovely than the other. Anyway, so thank you very much. If you like this stuff, please tick the like box and subscribe if you haven't already, because there is some more Taylor's Eyewitness loveliness coming up very very soon um similar but different thank you bye